here it is. SpongeBob's house. Oh, hello. Are you okay? Is that? Hey yo gang, welcome back to the channel, I'm Cartoon Cory, and in today's video, we're gonna be diving into the craziest Spongebob mistakes you've ever seen. Let's get into it. First up is the episode Shell Shocked, a very underrated episode from season 6 where Spongebob searches for alternatives when Gary needs a new shell. Here, take a look at some of these clips. What the heck is going on with my fancy boot? Hey, knock it off! All right, I warned you. <laughs> I got you now. Harry, yeah! yeah! uh, no! Gary! Oh. oh, thank goodness. For a minute there, I thought you were hurt. This episode is hilarious, and one of my favorite things about it is throughout the episode, SpongeBob just keeps on breaking different shells. Here's like a little compilation of it. It's so funny. Barnacles, you are hurt. One slipping off, eh, buddy? Okay, okay, let's get down to business though and talk about this episode's first mistake. I'm gonna play a clip. Let's see if you guys can spot it. Here, try this on for size. Oh. Of course it's a shell. Oh. Okay, you're right, it's not a shell. Oh, oh. greetings. Earthling, I am SpongeBob. I come from the future. This mistake is really funny. But when Spongebob puts on the space helmet, um, his arms literally go through the helmet, making for a really, really bad mistake. And there's more. This next one is just as bad. Think of something. Uh -oh. Mr. Krabs, perhaps you could help me find a new shell for Gary. Now, how much you got? Nothing, Mr. Krabs. I'm broke. Oh, I see. But wait, Mr. Krabs, if you help me get Gary a shell, I'll work for free for the rest of the year. So it happens really fast, but when Mr. Krabs says, oh, I see, one of his red arms is just not colored in. Like the animators just decided not to fill in his arm with color. And again, it looks really bad, a bad animation mistake. We've got another one, but this one isn't as bad. Yeah, the last one is a crediting error, as D. Snyder's name, which is spelt like this, I'll show text on screen, is misspelt like this during the opening credits. Let's move over to another episode and talk about some even crazier mistakes. Keeping on the topic of Season 6, our next episode is Cephalopod Lodge. Now this episode's pretty cool. It's about Squidward joining a club that is only for cephalopods, which is like squids. So yeah, here's some clips. I'll never forget my initiation ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob, Patrick, did you follow me here? Brother Squidward, for thousands of years, no outsiders have witnessed this sacred initiation. But I, 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 I... Man, I feel bad for Squidward sometimes. Like, the dude found something that makes him happy, and of course SpongeBob and freaking Patrick have to try and intervene and mess it up for him. But anyways, let's go back to the beginning of the episode and look at this clip to see if we can spot our mistake. What is it about the third Wednesday of every month that makes Squidward so happy? Psst. 
Squidward. Roger, is that you? Tonight's the big night. <laughs> Hello, Brother Roger. So in this character, Roger, was talking to Squidward at the Krusty Krab, he is green. As you can see right now, he's green. However, when he's at the Cephalopod Lodge later on in the episode, the dude is just like a different color now. He was green, but now he's blue, thus making for a really weird mistake. And of course, I've got another one. Brother Roger? Okay, Squidward, just give us five minutes and then do your stuff. This is ridiculous. No one is dumb enough to believe SpongeBob and Patrick are a, a giant albino eel! So listen closely, this one's kind of complicated, I'm gonna show as much footage and screenshots as I can, but when Squidward first enters the lodge, he enters a large room, this room right here, but when he later saves them from the eel, it is now some kind of corridor, like the actual location has just changed, the entire room has changed. It's very strange. Not as strange as this episode's last mistake, though. Take a look at this. Don't worry, Squidward. We still have the feather friends. So as you just seen, Squidward, SpongeBob, and Patrick get kicked out. And as this happens, you can hear Squidward screaming. <laughs> but if you actually look at his mouth, it's closed. This one, you kind of need to hear the audio. So here's a clip of it again, just so you can you can hear it. You'll see his mouth is closed, but he screams. <laughs> Up next is the episode Truth or Square, a Spongebob special from yet again season 6. This episode has a really interesting plot. Here's like a quick summary of the plot with clips. Now to add some special anniversary deals to the menu, Krabby Patty. Two and bucks. Oh no! Oh, that loose change out there is driving me wallet mad with money lust. We gotta get out of here. Now! Oh, if only Sandy was here, she could help us. Sandy! Come in, Sandy! Sandy Cheeks here? So it was you who stole my other radio, Squidward? What? No, I'm just. I, no! <gasps> Sandy's trapped in that box! I love Spongebob specials, like especially ones that are longer than like 20 minutes, like an hour long special. I love them, so I enjoyed this episode. But I hate to rain on the parade, the episode has a mistake. It has two actually. Here's the first one. Oh, there it is! Spongebob's house! Well, hello! Are you okay? Is there? This one is really easy to miss. Like, I'm sure you've seen it and missed it many times. But when SpongeBob says, Are you okay? in Patchy's dream, um, the right side of his pants just is transparent and wasn't colored in. Like, what an embarrassing mistake. And here's another one. Hey, hey, chill out, buddy. We all want to get into the Krusty Krab as much as you do. But I don't have time to wait in line. Sorry, but I can't be late today. <coughs> ah. What the? Hey! Ah. Sorry, everyone, but Mr. Krabs needs me. 
So at the beginning of the episode, when SpongeBob leaves his house after singing, he bumps into Harold, who is in line going all the way to the Krusty Krab. We hear his voice. Krusty Krab as much as you do. SpongeBob then declares that he cannot be late and jumps on the other fish's head. And if you listen closely, the male fish now have female voices, and the female fish have male voices. Hey, like you can have any type of voice you want, but it can't change halfway through the episode. So another mistake, and let's move on to a new episode with even more mistakes. I wonder what would happen if Plankton and Patrick teamed up together. They're not the most likely, you know, teammates, but this is actually what happens in the episode Chum Bucket Supreme. Here's some clips. Perfect! Chum is metabolic fuel. <laughs> Hello, sir, and welcome to the Chum Bucket. Yes, sir. Meta Whoa! <laughs> Forget about what that word means! There's a fire breaking out of the language lobes! We need to get out of here! The door's jammed! Push harder! <laughs> Wait, what are we doing again? Ah, there we go! Chum is fun! What the? Hey, it makes for a very funny plot, but I personally don't think I'd hire Patrick, of all people, as an advertising director. But hey, Plankton, you do your thing, I'm gonna do my thing, and that's pointing out this first mistake. Keep those eyes peeled. We're having a board meeting here! We need ideas. I'm so happy that they changed that old tired slogan, Chum is Fum. Yeah, that new slogan, Fum is Chum, is way cooler. Way cooler. Here's your Chum Bucket Supreme. Enjoy. So this guy right here is Frank. And as you can see, he's wearing this fresh red shirt when he approaches the counter. But take a look at him during this next shot as it zooms in on the register, as his shirt is now blue. At first it looked like this and it was red, but now it looks like this and it was blue, which is a mistake. And I've got another mistake for you guys hidden in this clip. Keep those eyes peeled. Uh, sir, <laughs> your head, it's on fire. Okay, so can I tell you something honestly? Whatever. It's about your sign. These words make my head sad. I don't get it. It's okay, little fella. This one is very, very, very weird. But when the camera zooms in on Patrick after he says, these words make my head sad, there's an animation glitch as Patrick's forehead can be seen below Patrick's eyes for a split second. Yeah, very weird. Now that's probably going to do it for today's video guys, but shout out to the Grapple Gang, let's go! I love you guys, you guys are awesome, you're always here supporting me, shout out to the Premiere Gang if you're at the Premiere right now, but yeah, I'm Cartoon Cory. I love you guys, and I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Make sure to subscribe though, as I'll be responding to the comments of all subscribers, so if you're subscribed and you comment, YouTube shows me and I'll respond for sure. It's that simple, so subscribe. Anyways though, I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace!